Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, the pre-lift market, and workwear. I would love to have you back, so please consider subscribing and liking this video if you liked it. Today's video is going to be all about this bag right here, which is the Mulberry Small Darley bag. And as I, you heard me say, I love the pre-lift market. This is the only bag I have ever bought new, and I bought it on a recent trip to the UK for our anniversary. So as the name implies, this is the small Darley. There is a regular Darley that is quite a bit larger. And this is sort of the new version of the Bayswater Clutch. I happen to still have one of those. I am selling it. And so I will do a quick little comparison of that at the end. So I'm going to show you some detailed shots of the bag, but I just want to give you my general review on it so far. And I will also show you what fits inside. I will also show you a couple mod shots as well. So you can see how it fits on my frame. In terms of a general review, I am really liking this bag. I find it beautiful. I think it is elegant and classy, but it can easily go kind of day to night. You can dress it up, dress it down. I really do like that, especially because it has this kind of pebbled leather. So it's almost a little bit more casual, but then it has this beautiful hardware and this nice sleek flap design, which make it a little bit more special. I find that I tend to wear this more for sort of special evening occasions because it has this beautiful chain, this gold chain, which I will show you. I'll take it out in a second. I wear it crossbody or on my shoulder most of the time. You can take the chain out and wear it as a clutch, but I find that the holes are a little bit too big and it's a little bit too wide to kind of grasp comfortably. So I don't really wear it as a clutch, really just a crossbody and a shoulder bag, which I will show you right now in the mod shots. So I personally prefer a chain for a more fancy event and I actually prefer a leather strap or a fabric strap or canvas or something like that. I find that a little bit more comfortable for all day wear. I do find that this bag, if you load it up, the chain can be a little bit uncomfortable on your shoulder if you're wearing like something that's very thin or kind of bare shoulders. So it's not something I would suggest necessarily as an everyday bag and I also find it maybe a little bit too elegant for that. The back of the bag features this pocket right here and I can't fit my phone or anything in this pocket so I would put maybe receipts or something small in there like a coat check, a little tag or something like that but there isn't really any purpose for this particular back pocket for me. I don't really use it though I'm sure that there will be an occasion where I will. And here's a just quick shot of the side and again you'll see this in a little bit more detail up close in just a little bit. So here's what the full chain looks like and it really is quite a beautiful chain. It, it has this nice detail to it and is this bright gold color that I think is really beautiful with this black. So again, it kind of gives this day to night vibe because it's not some sort of smooth shiny leather. It does have a little bit of shine to it, but it is this kind of more pebbled grainy. I think they call it the small grain leather. And I, it's, I think it's beautiful, but it does air a little bit more on the casual side. So with the hardware, it's kind of a nice contrast. In terms of my general thoughts, I am really liking it for that special occasion, for that moment. As I said, I find it slightly uncomfortable to wear casually because I find that the chain digs in, but I really like the organization of it. I like the size of it. I really like the structure of it and I just kind of love the look of it. So in general, I'm very, very pleased with this bag. So I'll first get started just kind of showing you the difference between these two. The red is the base water clutch, the black is the small darley. The black is a little bit taller than the red, and I'll give you measurements in just a second. The sides are completely different in terms of size. This The darley is much thicker, especially at the bottom. And then lengthwise, they are pretty similar. The Bayswater clutch is actually slightly longer. In terms of measurements, the Bayswater clutch is just under eight inches. The darley is closer to seven and a half inches. The width is one inch. The bottom of the darley is two inches. The top is about one and a half inches. And then in terms of the height, the darley is about five inches and the Bayswater clutch is about four and a half. So in terms of what fits inside, because this one is really mostly filled with this zip pocket right here, this slip pocket, and then the slip pocket and card slots. It really doesn't fit much. This is an old iPhone. I believe it's a six or a four, and you can see how much room that even takes up. I cannot fit my small wallet very well. I This is a compact wallet, 
And if I try to stuff it in here, I cannot stuff it with my keys. I can only fit that in. And even then it's a little bit difficult to clasp and it really kind of bulges out. So it really doesn't fit a wallet. You really need to use it as a wallet on chain. The interior of the Darley on the other hand looks like this. So it has the same kind of organization. It has a slip pocket, it has a zip pocket, and it has card slots with a slip pocket in the back but the interior is much bigger. So if I put the same phone in here, you can see how much room there is compared to what we just had. So I can put a phone, I can fit a small wallet, I can fit my keys, though I'd, yeah, I could fit my keys like that. I could fit a lipstick, so many different things. And then this one, I stuffed a little bit more in there than I would normally stuff, so it's a little bit hard to close, but I can close it. And it certainly doesn't bulge out as badly though it's more bulging than I would prefer so generally I actually wouldn't put my phone there I would put keys a lipstick my wallet something like that that is much easier to close and I would potentially put my phone in this pocket if it fits I believe mine which is the 8 plus is just too small to fit there but this one fits pretty well and it's a little bit less bulging if you do it that way in general though, I have my phone on me or if I'm going to an event or something, I generally don't need keys. So if I just put a phone in the back part and a wallet, then I'm not bulging. If I wanted to put a card holder instead of key holder and I wanted to use the middle parts, I can do that and I have plenty of room to spare. I can fit quite a bit more in there. In terms of big ticket items, this is just a foam case for sunglasses and it has some sunglasses in it. They pretty much take over the whole thing. So if I wanted to just carry a card holder and sunglasses, I probably could do that. But most of the time I would not keep those in there. Something like this actually is about the same size as it. I don't think I can get this in here, but I will try. If I try to put this in here, it basically is the size of this bag. So that can give you an idea of what can fit. Anything that you can fit into a dome cosmetic case like this, you'd be able to fit into this bag. And then something like an iPad mini is just not going to fit. It's definitely too too big for that. It's basically, again, the same size as the bag. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this bag or you want to see me style this bag in a few different ways, please let me know. You will see it sort of popping up every now and then on Instagram. And I hope that if you are thinking about this bag that I was able to answer any kind of questions that you might have. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.